All right, we'll get this thing out. Um, it's actually sitting on a jack stand. So I put each machined up on a jack stand just to get the weight off the springs because they sit so much, you know, especially during the winter. See, I, if I can't show you, see, I have one jack stand sitting right there. This one's sitting on a stand as well. Get back, see, that machine's on a stand and that one. Like I said, uh, actually next week, we're gonna be going on a riding trip. She's not going, so we need to run this machine. And it hasn't been run, hasn't been ridden. Machine hasn't even started since I think it was March. Here, let me move it up like this. Make it a little easier to get out. And the seat just fell. I go like this. Guess I can do it like this. Let me send this crap out of the way. All right. That's good enough. We can get it from there. Make it a little easier to get out of here. Get the uh, seat. Okay. The battery should be up. I have one battery tender. I'll put it on that machine for a week or so. Then I'll move it to there. I'll put it on my truck. It sets, you know, it'll set in here for a month. I kind of rotate it through the shop. Put it on different machines. Okay. Since March. It was a little slow to crank there, wasn't it? Even with the battery tender on there. And I think this has still got the original battery. That's coming loose a little bit there. I need to glue that down. But I think it's still the original battery. I'm really not sure. Yeah, that's around in here. But hey, at least it started right up, you know? And it's got a half a tank, it looks like. This pad in the way, you really can't see it much. It's like a, yeah, right about a half. Mm, smell like dust burning. Uh, you just can't help but do that when you ride one of these. You can't help but crack it. up for a minute dust it off nice and quiet mm, the tires a little not too bad tires be fine I'm just gonna rip around the place here uh, it's a little low but that's okay got the Fox shocks on it double adjustable Let's see, that's compression, and they actually have a rebound adjuster, see? And they actually have a rebound adjust on them as well. This thing actually rides really well. That's a lot of travel, a lot of travel. They're dusty, but hey, need to ride it from time to time, you know? why you own a Can-Am. That right there. Yep, that's why. It's 
a little damp out this morning. It's about uh, 11 o'clock, uh, October something, 15th, something like that. Things got us have good engine brake. <laughs> this some bitch will pull the front end right up. I tell you what, these things run really good. You ride one of these, you cannot help but do that, like I said. <laughs> these things are fun. My God. I need to do a little mowing back here, it looks like. Eh? Yeah, I need to. I don't mow back here, but about once a year, I get back here and mow. You can see I run the mower back here around a little strip. A little wet. There's a wood pile, uh, dirt pile, rock pile, and a black mulch pile. We got a lot of piles down here. I just realized that. How many times did I say pile? I'm not sure. Oh, oh, one more thing. We got a burn pile. Yeah, we need to uh, burn our brush there for, for too long. I'm out here in the bush, in the bushes. suckers run now I'm not gonna film the front of my house so pretty good brakes too look at that tree branch down what the heck hmm Still runs just as good as ever. Motor's nice and quiet. I guess I should have checked the oil, huh? Well, too late now. I'll check it when I'm done. I creep around down here. Some junk there. There's my old grain bender I pulled up out of there and didn't do anything with. My boat that I put out on the pond and moved the uh, aerator. You guys want to see any videos of the pond? Leave it in the comments if you'd like to see me do a uh, capper outdoors done a um, little video of a little underwater filming of his pond with his new GoPro 10. Um, if you guys want to see me do a little underwater video, let me know in the comments. See a little, little bit of that, that uh, floating moss. I got the aerator turned off right now because it's getting into cold, cold weather. And I'll move it up by the dock, the aerator, and it runs all winter, so it doesn't freeze. Actually, it's a pier, not a dock, but um, I'll, I'll move it up there so the so the ice doesn't freeze and uh, heave up the uh, the uh, pier posts that go down in the ground, you know. If that would freeze, it could possibly lift it up out of the ground because them posts go clear to the ground. Because I, I built that when this pond was filling back up after I rebuilt it back in 2013. But anyways... Oh, I was saying, what did I say about Capper Outdoors? Yeah, check out his channel. 
I've watched him for many years and uh, it's pretty cool. He does a lot of farming stuff. Whoa! I guess these tires are... <laughs> this sucker. Oh, there's our uh, little tombstone for our dog. He died. His name was Cooper. April. Oh, no, that's when he was born. April uh, 2004, we got him. He died in August of uh, last year, 2020. So, uh, we put a racetrack down here. Okay guys, there we go, we got some heat in it, it's ready to go for a trip. I don't know when she'll go again, but hey, thanks for watching this video, and we'll uh, see you on the next one.